Becoming a coach can be daunting for a lot of people. They don't know how to get started. They don't know if it's something they could be really good at. And for some people, they're not even really sure if they want to do it in the first place. But exploring the coaching opportunity is definitely worth it. It's the second fastest growing industry worldwide. That's according to a recent survey by PricewaterhouseCoopers. And there's many great reasons why waves of people are looking for alternatives to their nine to five job. And coaching is one of the best alternatives you'll find. It's a highly rewarding career that gives you purposeful, meaningful work and the opportunity to be extremely well paid for doing so. I'm Rob Mason. I'm the head of coaching and training here at Authentic Education. And in listening to and in mentoring all of the new and aspiring coaches who come through our programs, here are the top five common questions I get about coaching. So the first one is, am I going to be good enough to do this? This is a question that comes from a part of your brain called the hind brain that's constantly searching for certainty. Now, let me just say that when you get trained with a proven framework and a proven set of tools, this question no longer is in your vocabulary because you know that when you're working with a client, no matter what issue they bring to you, no matter what they say, you just work step by step through the framework that we train you on so you can have complete certainty that you know exactly what to ask them next and exactly the next steps with your coaching. So yes, you are going to be good enough to do it provided that you get trained with the right framework, the right tools, and the right structure. So the next question I always get asked is, how am I going to get clients? Well, there's four main ways to get clients in your coaching business. The first one is speaking. So that I mean by speaking is public speaking, getting up on a platform. And public speaking can be just talking to a handful of people. Two, three, four people is public speaking. That's one of the fastest ways to grow your your coaching business and get clients. The second is online. So building a website, adding value, and getting people to come uh, to your coaching through your website. The next one's networking, so attending networking groups uh, and talking to people about what you do and what your business is, who you serve, and asking them to to, to go out and look into their networks to bring you business. The the last one is referral, so creating a really good referral strategy for your business. And personally, this is how I grew my own coaching practice from zero to six figures and above uh, in around about four years. I actually did it the slow way. I can teach you how to do it a lot faster than that. But referral is one of the fastest ways as well because when you serve people and they get great value, they want to tell their friends, they want to tell their family and their colleagues. And so they do it. And, and that's how you get businesses coming in without having to set up marketing channels and, and expensive you know, advertising. So the next question I get asked is, how long will it take me uh, to make enough money to replace my income so I can leave my job? Very common question. And really, it's, it depends on your risk profile, your personal risk profile. So what I mean by that is, some people just want to leave their jobs and get started full-time in their coaching business straight from the start, which is fine. And another way to do it is to do it part-time. So perhaps you could just coach after hours or on weekends to start, or go back to, to four, three, or two days a week work, and then start to build your coaching business business uh, one, two, or three days a week. Or you may just want to coach you know, maybe one or two clients and that's it. Just work with them through the week and, and, and you do one or two clients for the whole week. So depending on your risk profile and how fast you want to make it happen, uh, you, you can get started straight away. We have clients, we have you know, students come through our programs and, and within you know, one or two months of the program, they've got 10, 15 paying clients just because they've taken action, they, they've, they've, they've done the system and they've got clients. So it all depends on how much and how quickly you want to get started. So the next question we always get is who's done it before me? And I just want to share with you, you may not know this, but right now there's people out there who are no smarter than you who are making six and seven figure incomes from a home-based coaching business. The stay-at-home mums out there making a bigger difference in the world than they ever have, making more money than they ever have, through coaching just a few hours a week. And there's uh, people who are coaching part-time, so maybe one or two days a week, or working with just a handful of clients who are supplementing their income. And they're, they're doing things like taking their family on a holiday every year from the income they make through coaching, or paying off one or two investment properties. And, and they feel like they're doing something more purposeful with their lives. And the last question I'm going to share with you today is, How can I help other people if I haven't got my life sorted out yet? And this is probably the question I get asked the most. So if I've still got stuff going on in my life, who am I to coach other people? And really, uh, bring you back to Gandhi. Gandhi said this quote, find yourself in the service of others. So I ask you, don't wait until you've got everything sorted out in your life. Get started serving other people. You're going to learn more about yourself 
when you help other people through their problems in life. And you're really going to find more purpose and more meaning in what you do through serving other people, helping them overcome their limitations. And from that, you're going to get tremendous benefit in your own life as well. So I just want to share those top five questions with you. I hope that's helped you on some level. I want to let you know that we've got an event coming up called How to Become a Highly Successful Coach. And this event, I'm going to answer these five questions in more depth and also a plethora of other questions and answer all your questions about how you, could, you can become a highly successful coach. So all you have to do to book in is just click on the link below or go to authenticeducation.com.au forward slash coach. That's authenticeducation.com au forward slash coach. It's a free event. It's two and a half hour evening event. I share with you tools, techniques. I show the exact framework that we teach all of our coaches that come through our programs. And we have a lot of fun. And I teach you everything you need to know about how to become a highly successful coach. So just uh, click on the link below or go to authenticeducation.com.au forward slash coach. And I look forward to seeing you there.